Hi, I'm Patrick Sullivan, Akamai CTO of Security Strategy. If you're like me, you've noticed that we're all spending more time these days inside of web applications. So it's no surprise that those application owners want to deliver the richest, most engaging experience possible for their users. This has led to an increased adoption of modern web application development processes. And along with that, we've seen an explosion of APIs, microservices architectures, and a rapid increase in the velocity of code changes delivered to those web applications. Unfortunately, you and I are not the only ones focused on web applications. According to the 2021 Verizon Data Breach Investigation Report, web applications are the number one target for criminals and fraudsters by a wide margin. In response to these trends, Akamai is excited to announce a series of updates, which I will share with you as part of the Akamai 2021 platform update. Our goal is to engineer solutions that easily fit into the modern web application workflow while at the same time increasing the level of protection against attacks that target the very web application that we rely upon. We believe in three core principles, protect against evolving threats, intelligently augment human decision-making, and simplifying management. And I'm eager to show you how we've incorporated these principles into our new security products and services. Let's start with application security policy. We've just finished a ground up redesign of the engine that underpins Conasite Defender and web application protector. The Adaptive Security Engine starts by consulting with Akamai's Threat Intelligence Database to make an assessment of how we should apply policy. In cases where we perceive the risk to be high, then the policy will be implemented in a more aggressive measure. Furthermore, we know that with the increased velocity of code changes, there's always been an anxiety on the part of application teams that any change to application could have an adverse interaction with security policy. A key innovation of the Adaptive Security Engine is that the policy is self-tuning. We use machine learning and heuristics to continually monitor interaction of the web application and where we see the opportunity to make recommendations, we will do so. That allows you to choose to accept those recommendations via an API that you use to communicate with Akamai, or as you can see here, with a couple of clicks inside the Akamai Control Center. Moving on to Page Integrity Manager, which Akamai launched last year. Page Integrity Manager helps protect applications from the threat of attacker-controlled JavaScript running in the browser of visitors to your website. We're really proud of the evolution of this product, and in particular, the audience hijacking protections. What do we mean when we say audience hijacking? As you can see here, there's a very popular browser extension that's being used as somebody visits this website. And left unchecked, these browser plugins can modify the way that the site renders for a user. In this case, potentially taking them out of your conversion funnel and into a competitor's by displaying invitations for them to navigate away from your page. With the audience hijacking protections in Page Integrity Manager, you gain visibility to understand how frequently this is occurring for customers on your site, as well as which browser plugins come into play across the interactions on your website. Then, once you have that visibility, you can author policy either at the global level, at the category level, all the way down to a discrete browser plugin, allowing you a number of options ranging from ignoring, monitoring, all the way to intervening and blocking this type of interaction. And all of this is done without adversely impacting the user experience. Moving on to Bot Manager, there continues to be an increase in the complexity that we observe on the part of bot operators, and certainly a continued growth in the frequency of bot attacks. Over the past 12 months, we measured more than 190 billion credential stuffing attempts, and that's just one of the actions committed by bots. And the great news is that Bot Manager continues to stand up against the most evasive of bots, but we know that we need to continue to stay two steps ahead. So we're eager to announce a new generation of our bot technology that's underpinning Bot Manager. Bringing Bot Manager in line with our adaptive security engine and our account protector, Bot Manager is no longer rendering a, a binary bot, not bot decision, and instead will render a decision on the likelihood that a client is a bot on a scale from zero to 100. And in each of those ranges, you can deploy different items from the menu of responses available within Akamai's Bot Manager, selecting the right response for each tier of risk. To further give you that visibility, you have the ability to model these ranges that you put into place before you push the configuration to production, further allowing you to express your risk appetite versus how aggressive you would like your bot policy to be. Also in Bot Manager, we're implementing a similar self-tuning to what we talked about with the Adaptive Security Engine. Additionally, we're increasing the obfuscation to make it that much harder for an adversary to reverse engineer the data that's collected by Bot Manager. Finally, we're introducing our all new Account Protector service. This service will pick up where Bot Manager leaves off. Account Protector offers comprehensive protection against account takeover and related fraud. And by that I mean Bot Manager is making that decision right there at the edge, determining how likely a visitor is to be human versus a bot. From there, Account Protector picks up to answer the next logical question. If we believe it's a human being, is this the right human being? Is it the legitimate account owner? 
And we will do this in a similar manner to how we calculate a risk score in the Adaptive Security Engine or the recently discussed bot score by providing an aggregate risk score. This will communicate the likelihood that this request has been made by an impersonator and not the legitimate account owner. We also communicate a series of discrete risk and trust factors that contribute to this overall score. The key takeaway here is that we're expanding the protection against fraud and account takeover to not only include cases driven by automation, but also cases where fraudsters have their fingers on the keyboard. We hope you're as excited about these innovations as we are. To learn more, please visit community.akamai.com. Thank you.